Hello and welcome to Prison Architect. And we have got this little fella here, Cantalo Mark, who is hoping to get out on early parole. We've got $106,000 in the bank, which means it's time to start working on this wing. And we are going to get this thing finished up. One of the first things we need to do is run some power. Let's see. I think we'll just run it straight up the cell block here. And we'll get our little busy, busy bees working on that. We also need to get in here and get this canteen up and running. So we're going to need that. And how big is this other kitchen built? Well, it's fairly good size, but then again, we did make it bigger as. Uh, as we needed to. Tell you what, let's make this wall. Go this way. And then that way, if if we should have to convert all this to cells, it all lines up. We don't have a wall up here randomly. So we can get rid of some of this planning here. How big is this room? A seven by seven. Because these guys are going to need their own parole room. Who is this? Why? Why is he in here? Thornton. Thor Harris. He's got three years. He blew up a small town. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Found afterwards and arrested for the def defecation, defecating on a two-headed bear. Well, I'm not really sure how he got into this section. Let's just check. Oh, that's how. So this is max sec, max, 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 max. Well, this is not. This is not yet. And this needs to be minimum security. Okay. Actually, that doesn't need to be. This way they can still get down through here, should they need to get over to here. Yeah, we'll leave that. I like that. Okay, it looks like we're still needing water. So let's get that in. And we'll go ahead and plumb up the shower and then we'll run all the water over here. Oh, I know there's no canteen. Which is okay because there are no prisoners. We line the entire room. With uh, shower heads. And we might as well just put a couple toilets in here.
in here somewhere. Sure, why did I do this? Why did I leave one square there? Oh, it's because of the yards there. Well, I think we can just fill that in. Cells. And then that's going to need power. And it's going to need... Water. Everybody's asleep. Very good. We got lots of time to do a lot of work. Or a little short amount of time to try to do a lot of work. Because the best time to work is whenever they're all asleep. That way I know they're not going to like just escape. There's that. And the kitchen. And we were going to do a, s a cleaning cupboard and a laundry room. That. Let's move this up. Match up with that wall. Refrigerators. I don't have a. Oh, there we go. We're gonna need a couple sinks. And we might as well throw a couple trash bins in here. You always need trash cans in the kitchen because they always are getting stuff all over. Here we're gonna need our serving tables. I think they can just like jump over those to get into the kitchen. I think that would be. I think that will be fine. We'll just put a regular door here too, because we're gonna have some guys working down here. And then we got some tables here. Let's see, what's the best way to do tables? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I think that will work. Just gonna pack them all in there. These guys here sitting at these tables are just gonna be able to turn around and eat their food right off of the... <laughs> They're not even gonna have to like walk to get their tray. They just eat their food right there. Calvin. Well, hi, Calvin. The media have started a campaign over the amenities granted to prisoners, and it's bringing a lot of heat on my office. I'm passing a bill which bans exercise equipment in prison yards, so you need to remove all weights, weights benches from your yards or you will be fined. You have six hours. Okay, well, let's just pause the game here a second. Let's go up here to the yard. We've only got one yard. Oh, okay, we do have we do have some weight benches up here. So we need to dismantle objects. And we need to control left click to make these a high priority. And hopefully one of our Oh, here come a couple guys right now. And a third guy right now. Is that all the weight benches we have? I think so. Because we don't have the yard set up down here yet, although this will be... Oops, this will be a yard. A yard. A yard, 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 yard. How come I never can find these things? Okay, ensure you have no weight benches. And we have 92 hours for no weight benches. Well, I guess these guys can just... <laughs> I mean, they're just running around right now. They are exercising. They just don't have weight benches. They're all just making laps around the uh, <laughs> around the yard. Run, fellas, run! Go, go, go! Need to get rid of these walls here and here. Those don't need to be there. And let's see, where are we at? Now we need to plumb up all of this. And then... A little bit of electrical. I think we're running this way. I don't like running it over the other pipes. I guess that will connect up everything. Now we're paying money for our reform programs, which is a good thing. I want these guys to be reformed and get out of here. That way they can uh, get to parole and get out of here on early parole. Walls pieces are coming. Am 
Might as well go ahead and get this other. Got a part up here put in. There are no prisoners assigned to eat at this canteen. Well, that's because we don't have any maximum security guys. But we can easily start getting some in. Let's finish off this part. And we're going to need some large jail boards, which we can just lock open. They don't need to be closed. I mean, this one, this one here is going to be closed or set to normal. And I think this one can be just. Well, this one we will have to set to normal. We don't want these guys and, and this one. We'll set these to normal. That way these guys don't just run out. And we could probably... You know, this one we can probably go ahead and set back to normal. And this one. Because we're all done working in the cell block here. This is the only part we're working on now. So we don't want to have them all the way closed, it makes it a little bit easier for my my workmen to get in here. This little fellow doing. Why is he coming down here to use the back? Oh, there, there, yeah. Where's this? Where's Paul going? Is he coming down here to use the bathroom too? Oh, man. We need to section this off. Cause these guys don't need to be coming down here. Go use your own bathroom. You got bathrooms in your in your cells. I don't know what they're doing. Did we put a wall here? What did we put here? I don't know what that is. Anyway. And these need solitary dudes. We're finding drugs on people. Oh, something else I should have put in here. The uh, metal detectors. We don't want these guys taking the forks and their knives and their spoons and stuff out of uh, the canteen or the kitchen area. So we'll have, we'll have them installed and get them in. Do we have? We've got this hallway. Well, I guess right as they come in, they've got metal detectors. Wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and put some more in. I mean, they're costly, but. But they do, uh, they do keep these guys from trying to get stuff into their cells. I should probably just put another set here. 
because I don't know exactly. How? Oh wait, let's move these up here. Can we move the other ones down? Oh, we can. That way they can come in, they automatically get the metal they're detected. And actually I think I'd rather move these down in here. Stop what you're doing. Can we can we dismantle this one? I know, I just told you to put it here. And I lost it. I lost it. There we go. And let's put him down in here, shall we? I don't want these guys getting anywhere in this prison with anything that they're not supposed to have. Okay. Now let's go to intake. We're going to get a bunch of new guys in today. We're going to bump it up to 75 guys. We will see what happens. I think we've got all of this ready. Let's just check. Maximum security only. Maximum, maximum, maximum. Minimum, minimum. Or normal. This is all normal security. This is maximum security and they, they oh, they need a way to get in here. Let's just put a door in here. So now these guys, they can get out here into the yard. The only thing I don't have for them is a is a common room. Which I guess we could put right up here. We need to actually put a wall here anyway. This wall here really needs to be moved up. I guess we need some lights in here, don't we? I always forget about the lights. Fiber put some metal detectors in here. Oops. There we go. Now, did all our metal detectors? We haven't got these hooked up yet. because it's on this side of the grid. Looks like we've got everything. Oh, we better put some more. Ah, let's just max it out. We got plenty of money. We are not hurting for money at all. Now I did see something. 
a sprinkler. I don't know if we can put one here. Since we made this room the right size. Well, we can put it over this. We're going to put some sprinklers in here. And hope that they don't blow up if this thing goes nuclear. And we're going to put some sprinklers in this kitchen. Um, we need to put some up here in this kitchen. And we're going to put some down here in this power room. Because the last thing we want is... Oh, jeez. Another log. Ma'am, can you come in here for just a second? The last thing we want is for one of these things to blow up and catch the whole place on fire. Oops. And why is the building so nasty? Let's unlock some of this stuff. Might as well. We got a ton of money. Now he's probably going to need his own uh, office. Yep. He requires an office. So we'll have to figure out a place to build our lawyer an office later. How are you guys doing? I'm just kind of milling around. Everybody's filtering in for shower time. And then the danger level is increasing. We've got six new prisoners arriving in the morning. We've got five normal and one maximum security. Which the maximum security guy is going to have it pretty easy. He's going to have his own <laughs> section for quite a while. Because nobody else is here currently anyway in maximum security now let's see we were going to have this as a common room weren't we So it's going to need some lights. And it's going to really need... Let's give these guys a pool table. And some nice chairs to sit in. I think they would like that. Put some phone booths in here. In case they want to come in here and talk to their family. Um, you know, we could even probably put a weight bench in here. So then if it's raining, you know, they can come in here and, and work out instead of uh, instead of working out outside. Because nobody wants to work outside in the rain. I mean, that's... Or when it's cold. I mean, that would be bad. I wouldn't want to work outside in the rain or in the cold. I'll put a couple TVs in here. I think that should be pretty good. We might need to beef up the common room for minimum security over here. They don't have much. Yeah, they have a little bit. Uh, we could probably put a weight bench in here, too. And that way, if somebody doesn't want to go outside and run, run around, they can, they can always uh, just work out right there. Oh, we need some stuff for our laundry, don't we? A laundry machine, which is going to require power. 
I think I just ran the power up here. So let's just put them right here. And we need ironing boards. And some laundry baskets. Water. So where's our water pipe at? Now I don't remember if they need hot water or cold water. Sorry, fellas. Working my poor little uh, construction guys to the max right now. But they are busy little beavers, aren't they? Oh, it's time for church. Spiritual leader. Preaching a little bit. Oh, these guys are complaining about food. Dirty clothing. Well, why is the clothing dirty? Why is the laundry not? I mean, we got 10 people working in the laundry. There's a way we can get this so both of them can use this one, maybe. Because that will help alleviate some. If we put a gel door right here, maybe, then I can get this to... Oh, wait. Let's see. I could just put a gel door here. Because then I can still keep this as maximum security common room, and then everybody can use this. So let's do that. I'll get this large gel gel door. Oh, I don't need that there. We don't need that there. Since we've got this walled off, I can change it automatically. Awesome. Okay, well that works. Yeah, I don't know if we really need this solely just for this one guy either. Here he is. Sean Lacey. Serving 34 years. 
sentenced to eight years for multiple crimes, including torture, assault, and violent disorder. Well, now he gets to go out. Oops. I got Sean Lacey. He's trying to get out here for his yard time. And all my workmen are trying to get out here too. Here, Sean, I got the door for you. There, that'll help. Who put this box here? It's got large pipes. Why would you set the box in there? You door. We might need some more guards. <laughs> I just realized we got 70 inmates and 20 guards. Let's get a couple more guards. Because we want to make sure we've got... Oh my gosh, what's going on? Dead? Dead? How did he die? He was a snitch. Oh my goodness. Well, Andrew, the weekend warrior, just got bumped up to maximum security. The toaster, Jake, just got bumped up to maximum security. And Matt Vantage just got bumped up to maximum security. Ian Clark just got bumped up to maximum security. And Richard Barry, Barry just got ma bumped up to maximum security. They must have all gotten a huge fight, which I didn't see. And decided to have a Royal Rumble. And they killed a guy. They killed a snitch. There's, I do know that there is a thing in the game where you can get some informants. You can get your own snitches to, uh, you know, kind of tell you what what's happening in the in the jail. So we might have to try to see if we can figure that out next time. Uh, oh my gosh, a guy died. I wasn't I wasn't ready for somebody to die in the prison. But I guess that's part of prison life. You know, survival of the fittest. So, I guess, join me. Join me next time, and we're going to try to see if we can get some informants going. Uh, we might need to build another security office somewhere over here so we can get some more CCTVs online. Or uh, we might be able to build it up here or something. I don't know. I'm kind of throwing around the idea about maybe building another parole room here. And then maybe we could build a little... Um, security office up in here to have this one kind of watch things over this way and this one kind of watch what well we're going to build over here so yeah i thank you so much for watching and i hope you come back next time for some more prison architect as these guys just just go crazy i guess I mean, we've added a lot more guys to the prison so who knows what's going to happen this has been nick with the spy games crew peace out